If there is one brand new toy hauler for 2024 that I am most excited about, it is this thing right here because this has a 14 foot garage in it and an L-shaped sectional sofa. I mean, come on. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound, and if you are a returning viewer, I'm still here in Elkhart, Indiana, and I'm now here at the Alliance display. Alliance does their own little in-house style open house here at their facilities, and I do have to say, um, I came here to Alliance a few months back, and they are just growing like crazy. I mean, it is really, really impressive. In fact, I'm even going to give you a look back in here. This is a brand new plant that we're in. This plant wasn't even here last time I was here in Indiana visiting Alliance. Look at this. I mean, that is unreal how big this plant is and how nice it looks. The lighting that they're doing in here, definitely going to be very comfortable conditions for everybody building the RVs that you are going to be camping out of or even living out of. And this here brings us to this 2024 Alliance Valor 44 V14. Um, one thing I like about the way that Valor does their model numbers is that second number after the V is going to be your garage length. So it doesn't make it too difficult to identify what the garage length is. And this floor plan layout here, it is spectacular. So this event that we're at, though, let me just give you a little bit of a run through of this event. Um, basically, it's an event put on by manufacturers. So Alliance being the manufacturer for dealerships that carry their products to come and take a look all in one place at all the new things that are coming out for the next year model, which going into 2024 now. And so this event, it's not a sales event. It's more of an event just for the dealerships to come take a look at things. I tell you this because I want you to know there's no sales pricing here at this event. So I do not have sales pricing information, unfortunately. But if I can get a ballpark idea on pricing, I will put that down below in the description of the video. Right here, you can see the floor plan layout that we're working with. Again, this is the 44 V14. So it has a 14 foot garage. It's gonna have 60 gallon fuel capacity in that L-shaped sectional sofa and a U-shaped kitchen. There is not another toy hauler out there on the market that I know of that has a floor plan layout like this. This is a one of a kind, especially having that 14 foot garage. I mean, I thought when I saw that this had the sectional sofa in it, I thought it was going to be a 12 and a half foot garage. And th the fact that they got a 14 foot garage is very impressive. Um, you can see it's 16,500 pounds dry and has a 3,100 pound, sorry, 3,100 pound hitch weight on there. Also looks really good for 2024. You can see the front cap. You have that molded fiberglass front cap up front and they have these diffusers now over your LED lights. So they have that glowing effect and looks really really clean also love the text that they use for the valor text and the font that they use for alliance just looks great they work that alliance logo into the a there and then as we come back here check this out you have a water manifold system on here now i don't know anything else that's going to come in at the price range that this valor's in that is going to have a water manifold system on it so if you don't know what this is this basically means that if you were to have any sort of water leak inside of your rv you don't have to turn off the water to every single component in the entire fifth wheel you can just turn off the water line to where the leak is happening which is going to make it make it so you can continue to use everything else inside the rv and repair that leak and you don't have to just shut off the main water line to everything so i love that you have your pass-through storage compartment here and you are going to have quick easy access to water lines and um, ducting back through there so that's where all your water lines and stuff run through i show you this because a lot of manufacturers don't give you like a quick access door to those components back there and you have an outdoor shower connection as well so that's your pass-through storage compartment and um, we're not going to go too much down this side although i do just got to see what's on this door right here just a nice storage space oh wow and that's that looks like this is going to be where your trash can will go so you can actually put a trash can in here has a motion activated light you can just leave on and then that's where you will dump your trash can um down underneath here we'll look at a couple things real quick it looks like there's just one central dump valve area there where all your black and gray tanks will come to in that one central location we'll go around the back and make sure that's true but looks like that's the case you're going to have a rack and pinion style slide out mechanism here on your big slides and a cable driven slide mechanism on your smaller slide boxes you also have a spot underneath here to store your sewer hose and then that exhaust there is for the generator as we come back this way let's go back over here 
You're going to have your 60 gallons of fuel capacity here with your fuel pump. And then underneath here, I've got to show real quick, you have these really nice looking black wheels. And then we're going to get into the running gear on here because Alliance does something pretty special with the running gear, but we're going to go to the other side to talk about that. Ladder to get up onto the roof. So it's a side mounted ladder and then that will come off the side wall. So you have room to climb up that ladder there. You have the patio off the back. This will also be your ramp door to load things up into that 14 foot garage awning up over the top with an LED light bar there awning over this space here awning over that slide out LED lights underneath all those things there as well. And then you have an air compressor already on board. So behind this door here is going to be an air compressor that will be standard on the Alliance Valor. So love to see that standard. There's some other fifth wheels out there that will offer that as an additional option, but it has to be ordered a special way to get that option. Now, I want to talk to you about the running gear on here. I'm going to go show you this graphic real quick, and then we'll talk about it a little bit because this is something that they really wanted to talk to me about. So I'm just going to give you a second to look at this here and you can see all this information. And we're gonna go back to the other side since there's a little bit of foot traffic here. And I'm gonna show you, it's really, one of the biggest things is like this two inch tube that they add on here to the running gear is very different. So, okay, so you get down underneath here and you can see they've welded this two inch tube along here for your running gear. I don't think anything else out there has something like this. So. This now is taking basically the, you know, space where everything is secured to and expanding it along this two inch tube. So it has just more, um, I, it just has more rigidity to it, I guess would be the best way to put it. Um, the way I was also, or the way I had this also explained to me is a lot of times when, you know, especially on a triple axle toy hauler or even a tandem axle, you start turning this thing and your wheels start wanting to like turn side to side and stuff like that. Anytime they ever had on like traditional fifth wheels that don't have something like this installed on there, they had issues with something underneath here breaking or snapping or anything like that. Um, they would do this to fix it and add something on like this to fix it. So now they're doing this just straight out of, and I say that not to say with Alliance products, but with other products out there in the market that don't have this. So they just do the standard right off the bat. That also makes it so like this part right here that has a lot of pressure put onto it, it drops it down further so you don't have as much of, you know, some length here so it's stronger. And then they do these V brackets here as well that give it some reinforcement. And they have a super G rated tire. So it's rated for like 4,400 pounds which is more than most things out there. You also have the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system on here. Very good, solid suspension system there. And just everything in general that you're getting with this package, it's a Sterling Super G rated tire, 235, 85 R16. It's really one of the best performing towing packages you're gonna get standard on a fifth wheel toy hauler. They also do this on the Paradigm as well. Um, a lot of engineering that goes into the you know, concept behind that two inch beam that they weld on there and their shackles and suspension system just to make sure that they're preventing things from happening down the road where, you know, you have weak points that potentially snap or fail as you're towing this RV down the road and making turns and stuff like that. So hopefully that explains that fairly well. I'll go into that a bit more on some other products because this is on all Valor, Paradigm, and I believe even Avenue products from Alliance. So definitely something very impressive. Down underneath here, you're going to have this storage space there. This has a drop frame up front, which is how they're able to work this storage space in. Solar charge controller and see what's behind this door here. Access to hydraulic fluid down back behind there. So nice that they actually keep that hidden. Most brands will just have that open and exposed, but they keep it hidden on here. Storage spot underneath here, spot for batteries as well, battery disconnect switch. And they have this lock, but back behind here will be your own amp 5500 watt generator. And as we come back this way, I got to show you one more thing before we go inside, because this one that we're looking at, it has a black skirt underneath here, but they're actually going to change that. So as you come this way, you'll be able to see this more recent one. This is a different floor plan layout, but another Alliance Valor that has the white skirt on it. So y'all can let me know what you think. I actually prefer the white skirt. I think it looks a whole heck of a lot better, but you can see the white skirt along the bottom there versus the black skirt along the bottom on this one. Y'all let me know down below in the comments which one you like better. I know Alliance would love to hear your feedback, but I really like the white. And I'm curious to know what you think. 
So let me know on that and then we're gonna step inside this fifth wheel and go take a look. Like I said, this is gonna be one of the most impressive fifth wheel toy hauler floor plans we'll see in 2024. So as we come up in here, you have an Asdell sidewall as well. So that's very important. Lots of toy haulers out there that do not have an Asdell sidewall. So that's gonna give you a composite panel sidewall, no wood in the sidewall and going to prevent delamination from happening down the road. Also warranty for full-time RVing. Real quick, before we step inside of this RV, there's something that I'm really excited to talk to y'all about and I actually wanna ask you for a favor. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I pretty much never ask y'all of anything, but I'm going to right now because I started my second YouTube channel, which is called Firmly Unbound. Firmly Unbound is the name of my company and Firmly Unbound is an expression of exploration and freedom in work, play, and faith. And I'm really excited about what's to come on this YouTube channel. There's a link down below in the description of this video and in the comments as well, where you can subscribe to Firmly Unbound. And I pretty much spent the whole last month traveling dang near coast to coast across the United States to show you what it means to live Firmly Unbound. So some exciting video content is coming. Can't wait to see y'all there. Right away as we walk in, I'm just gonna let you kind of soak this in, all right? Y'all just soak this in, take in this floor plan layout. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm not gonna say a whole lot, just so you can really get a good look around and then we'll go into some detail on things. But just check that out, y'all. Huge sectional sofa. The fact that it has this big of a sofa and a 14 foot garage just blows me away. It's so impressive and you still get a nice big kitchen space. And we're actually gonna start back here and then we'll work our way, or we'll start up here and work our way back to the garage. You have a real tile backsplash in here. So that's actual tile there. Looks really nice, U-shaped kitchen, good countertop space. They're working that trash can back into this area here. So just utilizing as much space as they can and giving you that spot where you can put your trash can and access it from outside. Stainless steel sink with a black faucet. Cabinets down underneath here, fully open space down under there. Huge gray stone oven. Um, also got a note, soft close cabinets on there. Um, let's see, so has a fan to circulate air in there. Gonna cook evenly. That's a huge oven there, residential size oven essentially. And you have a four burner stove up here as well with that. Big window here. Windows also framed out nicely, so it looks really good. And then you have storage space around here. Look at how big those cabinets are. And that's a tinted glass cabinet door. Has a gray stone residential size microwave. Storage up here above the microwave. Also even have a little bit of a lip up there. So you could put some stuff up there as well. And then you have big storage space all up through here. I mean, it is just huge. And then again, soft closed cabinets on those. You're going to have all your controls for the fifth wheel right when you walk in. LED dimmer lights as well, so you can dim the ceiling lights in this area. All touchscreen control panels, and then you have a bottle opener right here when you walk in. All your wiring underneath here, this is just gonna be like your breakers and fuses, and some pull-out drawers here, and they do have the reinforced drawers there so they can hold up to 90 pounds. So they basically have a portion underneath the bottom there to reinforce the bottom to be able to support more weight so the bottom doesn't just fall out on you down the road. And you can see actually underneath here, you can see how they use that wood piece there just to reinforce that bottom and allow it to hold more weight in that space. So that's your kitchen area. Then as we turn to the left, also real quick outlets, outlet there, outlet up underneath the cabinet. Important to point these out because sometimes people don't know where all the outlets are and outlet there. So three outlets in the kitchen, definitely plenty adequate to do what you need to do. You have a nice light fixture here over your kitchen space. And then to the left, I wonder if this is a door or a pullout pantry. It's a door. Ooh, wow. And it has the motion activated light. Nice. Adjustable shelving in there. This is going to be a 12 volt refrigerator. And this is a brand I have not seen before. I'm trying to like identify which brand this is. It's definitely different. Spot underneath here and it looks like it does. It has a pull out tray. I don't know that it has an ice maker in here though. It looks like it would, but I don't see a component under there for an ice maker. So I can't say for sure. 
but it's a 12 volt refrigerator, 17 cubic feet. And then this is a tall slide out box in here. So plenty of room in that slide out box, big giant campsite window, storage space up through here. That is massive as well. LED lighting up in your crown molding. So that looks really good there. Your dining table here are gonna give you a great spot viewing out into your campsite. I mean, you don't get a much bigger campsite window than that. Really, really like that, very impressed by that. And then it does have the pull down blackout shades where you'll be able to pull that down and it has the string here that you can move around so you can identify where that blackout shade is at. The lights that they use in here are these puck lights that sit just pretty much flush with the ceiling so they look really good. And then as we come back around this way, also got to notice no floor vents in here. So you don't have any vents in the floor. They run their heating through the cabinetry. You have outlet back here. And then that brings us to this sofa part that is just so impressive. I mean, what I like most about this is like, I want a spot to be able to lay down and to be able to lay in this corner, lay out this way. You could even fully lay out this way. Even if you're, you probably have to be about seven feet to not be able to lay that way. It is just going to be such a more comfortable seating experience. Plus you have all this space to sit people. So if you have, you know, six people that all need to sit here, they can. And the people at the dining table still aren't gonna be like disconnected from the space. So it's just really nice. And then of course, anywhere you sit, you're going to have a great viewing angle of the TV. I mean, it's literally just straight on. And I just love this so much. I really just love this floor plan. It is really sweet. You're going to have recliners here. So when this reclines out, this is going to lay back as well. And you'll be able to lay back in these two recliners. And then in addition to that, let's get this all the way back down. This will be a pull out sofa. And this is another thing that's really cool about this. When you make this into a bed and pull out this sofa, it's essentially going to turn this whole entire area into one giant bed. So this will be a sofa or a bed that pulls out and it's going to pretty much connect to the space here and turn this whole area into one massive sleeping space. You may never need it on a toy hauler like this because you have the beds in the back as well, but just something cool that it is capable of doing if you should want it to. Right here, you're going to have this storage space as well. So you're going to have storage space through there, tile backsplash here, and storage space through there. And this is a big enough spot where it should fit like a Keurig or something along those lines that you can put in here have your AC controls for in here. And then they use a Coleman mock AC, which is a very quiet AC system. And then it's not ducted. So it's just dumping air down into this area. And each AC is going to be independent with no ducting on this toy hauler. So it's just going to dump air down into here. You can see you have these vents that you can kind of position the way that you want there. And it will dump air out of both sides on those ends. Again, super tall slide out box. So it just feels enormous in here and then you have all this storage space up through here plus they do what they call atrium windows so this is essentially just making these windows as big as they possibly can here on this side letting lots of natural light in and then they have the pull down blackout roller shades and they're all framed out windows so you can see how this looks like it's a like a it's a glossy material and i don't know that it's it looks like the epoxy that they do i don't think it's epoxy though but it looks really nice nonetheless having that framed out window and gives it a bit more of a finished look. Your fireplace here will be an electric heat source for you. Um, so this is really going to heat up this space nice. You have a JBL sound system as well, 50 inch screen TV, and then you have storage space up here. As we go back into the garage, again, it's a 14 foot garage. Let me just show you some things they have here real quick. So. You can see here, each AC has its own individual space here. And it looks like it actually is ducted here in the bedroom going into the bathroom. But they're super quiet. And then you have an insulated garage floor. So there is going to be insulation under the garage floor and a weather resistant ramp patio as well. So you don't have to be too concerned about moisture getting to that patio and can have some peace of mind with that. Down underneath here, they have their track system for the tie down. So it will have rings that will go into this track system. That way you can position them wherever you need them to easily tie stuff down into this space. Also, you can put something like carpet down in this area if you want this to feel more like a room or something along those lines. Maybe you don't want to use this for a garage, but you want to make this like a bunk room. You can do that. Now these here, I'm not going to demonstrate it, but this here is in the bed position. 
both of these beds can drop down. So this one can drop down and the top bunk can come down with it. And you can essentially have two king size bunks almost is what they equate to. These also are two independent sofas. So these middle parts flip over, turn these into sofas and you'll have a sofa on this side, sofa on this side. And then when you're loading toys in, this here is going to give you the most width. So if you need a lot of width, maybe you have big tires on your side by side or your four wheelers, whatever it may be. Or if you need more height clearance, then you can put these down flat against the wall. Both sofas come down flat against the wall and you get more height clearance there as well. Alliance Valor, they added the LED light strips here into the garage. Definitely adds a nice touch of lighting into this space. You have the three season patio door here as well. So that's going to be a nice patio door that can keep the elements out when you want it to. Or you can add the screens here to allow a breeze in. I also love this where you have the pull strap to open the garage door. Why I like this is because if you think about it, it's just so much easier to come and open up your patio from inside as opposed to having to go all the way outside, undo some latches, drop it down, then come back inside the RV. Right here, you literally just pull this tab, the door will drop down. It's a zero G door, so it's gonna be weight assisted going down and you don't have to step outside to open your patio. Also, if it were to start raining or something like that, you can just put all this patio gear in and you can grab this because it's a zero G door. If you just pull on this, it's not heavy at all and the door will start coming up and you can close your patio door without having to go outside. So that's something that you can't do on other toy haulers that have the latches on the patio door that you that require you to come outside to close the patio. So just a little thing there that I appreciate. You have your awning over the back LED light bar there and just a great patio setup. In this garage as well, not only is it going to be climate controlled, you have heat in here, you have AC in here, but you also have washer dryer connections in here. And this is not the only place that you have washer dryer connections. So they give you two different options. So you can do a washer dryer combo unit here, or you can do washer and dryer in the bedroom. And I'll show you what that looks like when we get up there. Loft space up here. So you have your bunk up in there. Whoever's staying in this loft will have that nice opening so they can still feel connected with everybody else in the area. And then you have a 12 volt TV there. So that's running off the battery system. And that's going to be an HD TV spot here for storage and you get a half bath as well. Half bath through here has a porcelain foot flush toilet sink in there, mirror, and you will have a vent fan up in here because the loft does not block that space. And that's everything in this garage. The only thing is it's not 14 feet back into this corner because this door is slightly slanted, but I do appreciate them doing that because it allows them to have the vent fan in there because they can push that bathroom just back far enough where it's not underneath the law. Now we're going to come back out this way. And that's everything in the garage space back there. And then let's go up into the bathroom and bedroom up front. And I hate that I do that. I always say things backwards. Like, I don't know why I just said, let's go back to the bedroom up front, but let's go up to the bedroom up front. And you have your steps here. You're going to have a grab handle here. And as you go into the bathroom, it's a pretty standard size toy hauler bathroom, but there's a couple things I really like. First of all, they drop the shower floor down to match the flooring height in here. So not only does this give you more height in the shower, but also you can plug that drain and get about you know, almost a foot deep tub in there. So if you wanted to, you know, give a kid a bath or something like that, just have a pool of water to work with. You do get some sort of a tub set up. Ceiling height in here as well has got to be at least like six, 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 seven. Um, it's a great ceiling height. And as I step into the shower, it should be just as great. And it literally feels like I actually got, like it drops down below the floor level. So it's so, t oh my goodness, it's probably like six, eight to right here. I mean, it's super tall. You could be seven feet and fit in this shower. This is wildly impressive because there's a lot of toy haulers out there where if you're over like six, five, even you're not going to fit this one here. I think just about any person is going to fit in here. I mean, that is a ton of space in there that felt very, very tall and very surprising because most toy haulers do not feel that way. So I really like that. You have a molded in seat there. This is a molded fiberglass one piece shower. You're going to have your countertop there, stainless steel sink, storage space are here. And look at that. Look at that extra storage they worked in there too. How cool is that? That's some hidden storage. I didn't even know that was there. I love that. You have a vent fan up in this area as well. And you have a soft closed toilet seat here with a porcelain foot flush toilet. 
You should have a pretty good amount of space on there. It is a little close to the wall there, but when you open this door, you can see there's a little space, but it is a little close to that side wall. Storage down underneath here, soft close on those, and a sliding farm style door going into the bathroom. Dual entrance into the bathroom as well, so if you're taking a shower, you can step right into your bedroom to get dressed and things like that. King size bed here in the bedroom, windows all the way around. And then this is your closet here where I was saying you can also do washer dryer in this closet. You have a TV installed here in the bedroom. That's a 12 volt TV running off the battery system. You're going to have, um, what, it, oh my gosh, I almost said a ceiling fan. You have AC in here as well that is ducted. So this is gonna be ducted to get air back into the bathroom. And then the nice thing about having a 12 volt TV, if you think about it, your RV is usually always gonna have batteries hooked up to it as long as your batteries aren't dead. And with solar on it especially, gonna prevent those from dying. And this is gonna allow you to turn on your TVs without having to be plugged into any sort of additional power, without having to turn on your generator. If you don't have a 12 volt TV, you have to be plugged into some sort of 110 power source to get the TVs on, or you have to have like an inverter running to the outlets. So having a 12 volt TV is a pretty nice thing to have and most toy haulers will not have it. You have a spot to install a Wi-Fi router here. And as we go back to the closet, removable shelving here so you can adjust this however you would like. And you can see you're prepped to add washer dryer here as well. And then this will slide over. So you have kind of multi-purpose storage here. And then you can see that space down through there. Pull that drawer open. That looks nice. Have two drawers here. And then these will slide back over. So you have the same thing on the other side as well. And you have a clothing rod across here. So if you want to adjust that shelving. Curious if y'all would prefer to put washer dryer here in the bedroom or in the garage what y'all think as far as, you know, toy hauler setup, what you would prefer. I like that they're giving you both options. You have little bedside tables, outlets, and USB ports down underneath there as well. And yeah, that's it right there. Plus there'll be storage underneath the bed down here. So you have storage down underneath there. And that is pretty much everything, y'all. I'm very curious what you think about this fifth wheel toy hauler. Oh, I forgot to show you the hidden storage underneath there and spot for shoes underneath the dresser. But very curious what you think about this toy hauler. Please let me know down below in the comments what you think about this floor plan layout. Very different, nothing else like this out there on the market that I know of and I would love to hear your thoughts, so please let me know. And that's all I got for y'all. So appreciate y'all watching and until next time, live firmly on bound.